Hey yo, duckies, Andy Lippy here, back with another video, and this one is exactly as it says on the tin. The best streaming tool is back and more powerful than ever. This is it. Leoran Board 2 is here. There are so many changes to this. Leoran's done a great job. We're going to be going through all the kinds of different changes. This is basically kind of like an overview video. If you want to see more content specifically on Leoran Board 2, then make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's just get into it. Put your rock up the stone. This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned Pro. Owned Pro is your only one solution for stream management. The free plan is packed full of features such as copyright free music, which is crazy. With the Pro plan, you can get unlimited access to 600 plus overlays, which install directly into OBS with a single click. It's super easy. You can even save yourself 50% off using my code Andy50Pro, and each purchase will support the channel as well. I'll leave all the links down in the description. Thank you very much, Duckies. Right, so let's take a look at getting it all downloaded and where to get it from. It's actually just the exact same page that was on the OBS forum for the original Leoran board. So if you've got that bookmark, just use that. This is Leoran board 2. All this thread here is old school. It's completely changed. This needs updating. But Leoran has basically just added it to the same thread. So it's a lot easier for people to navigate. So we just head on up to go to download. I'm going to leave all these links in the description. So don't worry about anything like that. So we've got Windows release, Linux is to be announced, Mac is not planned currently. Uh, I think that's because Le Leoran doesn't have access to a Mac or anything like that, but I don't know, maybe maybe some chats there and we'll see what happens. There's some info on how to get it all up and running as well, which is really nice. And I can't wait to show you what changes there are. So I'm going to download the 64 bits release just here. So we're going to press download and it's just going to start downloading it just here. I'm going to open that folder up, uh, so it's in downloads just here. I'm going to basically just copy the content to this folder and I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop and call it the Orange Board 2. So if we go no, new folder, I'll call it the Orange Board 2. You can save it anywhere on your computer, it's completely up to you. And we'll paste this just in here. So everything is ready to go. Like previous, there it's only an EXE, so you don't have to install it or anything. And as soon as we open this bad boy up, it's going to protect the PC because you know what Windows is like. It's super, super secure, right? And we run anyway, and this is it. We're greeted with a brand new interface, okay? So it, it kind of confused me a little bit at first because I was so used to the original the Orange Board but don't let that trouble you, okay? There is also a huge guide that Christina has put together on the Leoran board website as well. I'm gonna leave that link in the description. For, it's pretty much got everything that you could possibly want on how to use this piece of software. So feel free to look at that and obviously make sure you are subscribed for when I go over it in these tutorials here as well. So the first thing we need to do is get all our account and everything like that connected. So if we go down to settings, you can see we've got a couple of different settings. We can change the FPS and everything. Minimize the trait, which is super, super handy. So first things first is we need to allow the stream deck and transmitter. This will allow the Orange board to communicate to the transmitter, as you might know already, and also the, the stream deck so you can press it. And I've got something cool to show you around the stream deck. Minimize the tray, I turn that on because it's really useful. Set the FPS to whatever your monitor is, so mine's 144 hertz. We can change the interface size as well, which is really useful. So if I just press save now, it's gonna ask us if we want to allow access because we're, we're requesting some uh, network features. We press allow access, that's perfectly fine. Otherwise it won't work. So if I change the interface size, we'll make it smaller. As you can see, how much it changes is completely up to you. So Leoran's made it so it matches whatever monitor you're using, which was a big, big help. We've got reset the orange board, which was the old school reset button that will clear all the variables and everything. And we've also got check for updates, which is a huge, huge thankful. Th a huge, huge thankful. Yeah. So as you can see, we've got, we can verify an update, make sure we're on the most up-to-date version uh, by pressing verify. And this one says update. So let's press update. It downloads it all in app. We don't need to go back to the orange board page and update. And that's it. Done. Sorted. Honestly, so useful. You can view the patch notes as well from there. Press done, we're gonna press save. And then now we need to connect OBS. So we can connect our OBS just in here like so. Uh, we can tell it to auto connect. We, we do the non-blocking, usually just leave it on. 
uh, fetch OBS data so that pulls everything. This is set up ready for WebSocket 5 as well because the reason Leoran made this is because WebSocket 5 was coming out so he wanted to make sure it was ready. Obviously we'd, we've not got a release date on that but stay tuned on this channel because I will let you know as soon as it is around. Um, this is normally your home IP so that's absolutely fine and then if you put a password in OBS you can connect it there. So if I go into OBS and I go to tools and go to WebSocket server settings, if you've not got this in OBS, it means you've not got that plugin installed. I'll leave that in the description as well. And we can see the server port is 4444 and we don't have a password turned on. I'm gonna press okay there and I can go back to Leoran board 4444. There's no password, which is all good and press connect and you'll see OBS main is now connected we're ready to go leoran board 2 is now talking to obs now we need to connect our twitch account so you only have to do these once i just want to highlight that you only have to do these once once it's connected that's it easy finished so we'll go to twitch connections and all we need to do is edit what scopes we want to use i like to use everything so i tick all of these boxes as you can see here uh, and this means that if I have to use any of this information, uh, it's fine. Twitch will allow me to use it with Leoran board. So I press done and then we just press open URL. This is just going to open a URL and it will say all good. You can now go back to Leoran board. So I can close this down. In fact, I'll close the whole website and you can see it says uh, Andy Lippy is connected. You can see join channel, listen for, I always tick these because this means anytime that you get a follow, subscriber, hype train, anything like that, the on board is going to listen to that straight away. So one last thing I always make sure I do is click the tick just here to auto connect to Twitch chat and press connect to Twitch chat. And then as you can see, connected to Twitch chat under the name Andy Lippy. We can create more accounts on here as well by pressing open URL and that's how you can use your bot account and different things like that. But right now, I'm just going to leave it as mine. Press done. This is going to basically just check if we've already connected our chat and everything like that because this window needs to be open if you want to do the authorization. I'm just going to press yes, that's fine. And as you can see, we're connected. We've got the green light for main OBS, green light for Twitch chat and red light for transmit because I'm not actually turning the transmitter on. To do that, we can actually just press Transmitter just here and press Open in Browser. And this automatically opens the Transmitter. If you guys have used Leoran Board 1, you will be used to this by now. Obviously, we can dock that into OBS as well. So if I copy this URL just here, so I'm just going to highlight it and copy it. And I'm going to close it down. Make sure you close it down, otherwise this won't work. All I need to do is go to View, go to Docs, and I can do Custom Browser Docs. I'm going to call this Leoran Board 2 Transmitter. And I'm just going to paste that URL into this box that we copied earlier. Get rid of the beginning bit for the file. So just so it's got the C and then colon. And then press apply. And as you can see, it's popped this window up just here. I can then dock this to the side of OBS. So I've got easy access to it at any point. I now can close this window and we've got access to all the Twitch triggers, for instance. If I press Twitch triggers, I can test uh, a follower alert, a sub alert, and all the other stuff just there as well. Jumping back in the Orange Board 2, we can actually start messing around with it because now you can see we've got green lights for everything. We're all good to go. Remember, if you are enjoying this product, consider donating to Leoran via PayPal just there. So now we can create our first deck. So we're just going to press this plus sign and press create new deck. And there's going to be no preview or anything. We're just going to double click into that and we can give it a name if we want to. We can turn this grid snapping off for all our buttons. Uh, we can resize the grid as well. Completely up to you guys and even add a custom background image and color. So I'm going to right click on any space in here and press create button. And this is going to create this little tiny button that I can obviously resize to however suits my needs. So we're just gonna create one as standard. So I can right click this one and go to edit appearance. I can put some text in here. So I'll call this button one. I can change the color of it, add an image if I want to, the border size. I'm just gonna press done for now. Uh, and that's it, we've created the first button. Right now it doesn't do anything though. So we're gonna right click and go to edit 
triggers. So basically this is where we can choose what we want to activate this button. So we can use a keyboard hotkey, we can use Leon on board triggers. So if Leon on board uh, starts up, we can get it to trigger this straight away or if it connects to OBS. So we can do an OBS trigger. So if something happens in OBS, for instance, like any of these things here, as you can see, there is a ton of different things that you can do, which is really nice that will trigger this button. Or we can even just use my favorite stuff, which is the Twitch stuff. So you can do a Twitch chat message, a subscription, raid, host, bits, new follower, polls, predictions, pretty much anytime any of that happens, it will trigger this button. So I'm just going to leave this on Twitch chat for now. And the message that I wanted to um, make it work is the word test. So now if somebody types in the word test into my chat, this button will activate. So I'm going to press save and we're going to right click and we can actually create a command for this button to do now. So I'm going to edit the commands and it looks very similar to Leo on board one just here. We press the plus sign and we've got a bunch of different things that have been nicely categorized. Uh, for instance, like OBS commands, you can see them all. They're all uh, organized as well. We can actually type into this search box if I search Twitch. And we're going to do send chat message. We can do this test actually works like so. The channel name I can leave blank because I've only got one uh, channel connected to Leor on board. So I'm just going to leave it as blank and that'll send it to the default one. And I can just go press save and then save again. Now if I go to my Twitch chat and just type in test, we should get my account message back saying this test actually works. As you can see, I type in test, I can do it again, I can spam it. I can't spam it, um, maybe copy and paste might have helped. And that actually does something. And as a little side note, make sure you are following me over at Twitch to see Leon Board 2 in action, live on stream at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. All the links in the description and you usually learn stuff before I even get it out on a video here. So make sure you are over there. So we can actually use this to do things in OBS as well. So if I create a text source, for instance, just as something basic for you, I'm going to do a text source, leave it as text GDI and I'm just going to do press OK and just leave it as that. Nothing's on there at the moment. Go back to the Leon Bud 2. Go back to this button and we're going to edit the commands of the button and instead of it sending this to um to twitch i'm actually going to make it edit this source in obs so if i press the plus sign go to obs commands we're going to see down here source change text gdi plus so we're going to select that we can choose which instance of obs because we can actually use multiple obs's the source we can choose so it's currently on scene and then text GDI plus and the new text this works like so and that's all we're going to type into there I'm going to press save save again and then now when I press type in test it's going to send that information to OBS just like that easy as that so this is how you can get people to interact directly with your stream and it's never been easier some other things that I want to highlight the changes to is the stream deck itself if we go to stream deck we can actually open the Stream Deck app from here, connect to our home URL like so, connect to the correct port, press connect, and then now we can select which deck we want to move to, press load deck, and we can actually press this button manually, which is crazy. So if I actually delete all the text that's in here and press the button manually, it'll work like that. And this is working directly from your PC. The great thing is that Leoran has actually added the Stream Deck as a LAN IP so that means you can use any HTML device at all to run your stream deck which is insane it means that you'll be able to use your iPhone iPad all the things that you couldn't do before now you can do on here and even dock it inside of OBS just like we've done with this as well so you can trigger commands inside of OBS another thing that has changed if we check the variable viewer there's a button for it now but before we just press tab you can see all your different variables that have been created and we can see say global variables all these different things just here which is crazy the mouse position for instance that's how i do my auto move i will be porting it across to this as well and these are all organized now so it's not just a big huge list which is so useful you can also see what buttons are currently active as well so if we go down to active buttons if there is a command running that we've created 
it will show us there and we can see if it's halted or if it's stuck or anything like that that's the same word andy and it will be there so we can actually look there's a search bar for everything as well even when we're looking at the variables we can search for a specific thing so if i type in mouse it will show it's only in this one so if i type in mouse again here you can see it pulls up these variables so everything is a little bit easier to kind of navigate around that was a brief look at Leo on board 2. If you want to know how to do some crazy stuff, then make sure you are subscribed because I'm going to be doing tons of tutorials on it. If you do have any questions at all as well, make sure you do join the Leo on board Discord or even ask me down below as well. And as an added little bonus, I'm actually currently working on converting all the stream up products and making them available for Leo on board 2. The first one that I've been doing is the Twitch stats tracker. So again, stay tuned because it will be dropping very, very soon. So I just want to say a huge thanks to all these people just here for helping me make this content full time for you guys. You can join it for a pound today. It goes a huge way to support me. And then check one of these videos out here if you want some more advanced streaming tips for your Rock of the Stone.